What's up, people on YouTube? If you're an uber nerd like I am, then you saw the Logan movie this past weekend. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments section. What I'll say is that it wasn't a superhero movie. It was a really good movie that had a comic book character in it, if that makes any sense to you at all. I really enjoyed the film, but during the previews, we had a teaser trailer for Deadpool 2. If you haven't seen it yet, it's all over the internet. It's super funny. It's about four minutes long. It has all these Easter eggs. But at the end of the trailer, there was this really fast uh, text scroll. And my buddy was sitting next to me and he was like, I want to know what that says. So I looked at the trailer online and I paused it and I have it for you. So if you can't sleep at night because you want to know what was written, I got your back. I'm going to read it to you right now. All right. So should I read it in the movie trailer voice? You know, that one guy who's in every trailer doing the monologue and he's always like, in a world, one man will find his destiny all alone by himself until he meets a dog. Don't miss the blockbuster event of the summer. Tom Hanks and five dogs playing the same dog in Hooch and Turner Part 3.5. Me, 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 me. I am the mighty Kraken. All right, now I'm ready. I spilled a little water on my shirt. All right, guys, you're going to have to bear with me because you can see the writing is really, really small. I don't have my glasses on. All right, guys, so it says, and it's pretty long. It says, the Old Man and the Sea is the story of a fight between an elderly, accomplished fisherman, Santiago, and a really big fish, like huge. The story opens with Santiago suffering 84 days without catching a fish because he's the unluckiest son of a bitch on planet Earth. Honestly, if you were in a boat for 84 days, it'd be hard to not catch a fish, even by accident. Santiago was so unlucky that his apprentice, Manolan, was forbidden by his ma and pa to fish with him. But as the Fresh Prince used to say, parents just don't understand. So the boy visits Santiago's shack anyway, ignoring the inherent risk of unsupervised playtime with an elderly man who talks to himself. Manolan helps out moving Santiago's fishing gear, making food, and talking about baseball. Especially Joe DiMaggio, who used to bump fuzzies with Marilyn Monroe. That's true. The next day, Santiago tells Manolan that he's going way out into the Gulf Stream, way out, north of Cuba. Lady Luck is returning. On the 85th day of his crappy luck, Santiago drops his lines and by noon gets a bite from what feels like a big-ass fish. He's sure it's a winner. He fights and fights and fights but can't pull the monster in. Santiago's leaky old bolt is pulled by the fish for two days and nights as he holds on for dear life. Even though he's bloody and beat, Santiago begins to appreciate this mighty adversary. He starts calling him brother or maybe even bro. It's sort of a love story if you really think about it. And like most romantic comedies, the reader pitches a delightful outfit changing montage, followed by the inevitable interspecies wedding. But on the third day, Santiago is freaking exhausted and decides he just wants the fish to do what he says and not always swim whenever it wants. So he stabs it with the fucking harpoon. It's a mess. Super gross. Blood everywhere. Because like many men his age, Santiago has difficulty expressing his emotions and fears with words, instead giving into base desires, desires and imposing his gigantically terrible positions on any given subject through unblinking violence. Typical. Anyway, he straps the marlin to the side of his skiff and hits the road home, ready to act like a total show-off to everyone and properly gouge people on the price. But guess what? Pretty soon, sharks begin to attack the bleeding marlin's carcass. Because as we all know, life is a tragic opera and just when you think you've finally found something good and true, sharks come along and rip it all the fucking shreds while dry humping your dignity with the crazy weird shark dicks. I'm not making this up. This is exactly what it says. Sure, Santiago tries killing a few of them, but drops his harpoon because his hands are just as old as he is. By nighttime, the sharks have pretty much eaten the entire marlin. Only a bleach white skeleton remains, silently mocking him in the murky darkness. 
Santiago realizes he's still unlucky. Really unlucky. Duh. He calls the Sharks dream killers, which ain't really all that fair. I mean, the Sharks were just doing their job and the Marlin? Jesus, don't get, even get me started on the Marlin. It was just hanging out one day, minding its own business, maybe thinking about ways it could be a better provider for its family, and wham! Harpoon in the brain. Who's the dream killer now, fuckface? The hypocrisy is pretty much boundless at this point. Eventually, Santiago makes it ashore, leaving the bones of the Marlin and the boat. He hobbles to his shack. He makes it home and crashes. Like I said, he's super tired. The next morning, a group of fishermen gather around Santiago's boat. One measures the skeleton and holy shit singles, it's over 18 feet. The head of the fish is given to Pedrico. Strange that this is the first mention of him. And the other fishermen ask Manolan to send their glad tidings to the old man. Manolan brings Santiago newspapers and coffee when he wakes and they decide to fish together again. Many years later, there's a Red Lobster restaurant in nearly every city in America offering a casual dining experience and convenient parking. So there it is, guys. A tale of the human spirit and the invention of Red Lobster. I didn't make any of that up. That's exactly what it says in the text scroll. Now you can sleep safe and sound. Thanks for watching, guys. Share this video. Hit that like button. Check out my channel, Kraken's Comics. I am no lock no more. The mighty Kraken. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm about to have some Cherry Garcia ice cream.